Hi, this is Liz. I'm an HP certified technician and today we're going to go over what to do when you boot up your HP and you get this error, boot device not found, please install an operating system, hard disk, and then you have that 3F0. Okay, so this happens to the best of us and I'm going to go over what I would do as a technician to diagnose this problem. Uh, this is specifically for Windows 11. If you have a Windows 10 computer, we have a link down below on how to diagnose that. So I'm going to hit the power button here. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my BIOS options are configured properly by hitting the power button and then lightly tapping on the escape key as you see. As you can see, it says entering start up menu. So that's where we want to go. So now that I'm in the start up menu, uh, I had to do that twice for some reason with HP's. Uh, it can be tricky to get to the start up menu. So keep in mind, you may need to try again. Uh, but now that I'm in the start up menu, I'm going to go to BIOS setup. Uh, keep in mind system diagnostics you may need later. These are also the hotkey. You can sometimes get into BIOS or the system diagnostics by hitting the computer, uh, hitting the power button and then tapping on F10 for BIOS or F2 for diagnostics. So keep that in mind if it gives you problems, you might wanna try that option instead of the escape key. So, all right, I'm gonna enter BIOS setup. Now, some of the things I'm going to check on, for Windows 11 to work correctly, you have to have the boot options set up correctly. So first of all, we want Okay, so one possible solution is, as you can see, my hard drive is not on this list, which can be a sign of a bad hard drive or not installed properly, um, or it can also be a software issue, but we're gonna connect, we're gonna figure that out later. Make sure that your, um, that your hard drive is set first in the boot order. So that is one thing you wanna check for. As you can see, mine doesn't even look like it is installed, but it, uh, by arrowing down and hitting enter, you can adjust um, you know, where the boot order is. So by using the arrow keys and then you hit enter and then you can move one up or down. So I'm not going to do that because as you can see, you can't even see my hard drive. So that's not going to help me. So next I'm going to move over, uh, and I'm going to go to security. And where it says secure boot configuration, keep in mind I'm using the arrow keys to do this. I hit enter. And then I'm gonna make sure secure boot is on. As you can see, it is on as it should be. So um, if your, your secure boot is not on, make sure that is, that is on because you wanna have that working. Now I'm going to exit out of that by hitting the left arrow key. And I'm going to go, go to the main menu. And from here, so next thing you'd want to do is save custom de defaults and exit out or save and changes and exit, exit, restart the computer, see if that works. Another thing you can try is apply factory defaults and exit after this if you want to re-enter because sometimes it can be your incorrectly set BIOS settings and then restart your computer, see if the error goes away after doing one of those two things. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to see if it's a hardware problem and we do that by going into system diagnostics. You can also hit get into system diagnostic by that first startup menu I showed you earlier or by the hotkey tapping it when you start your computer. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And what we're trying to test right now is your storage test or your hard drive to see if your hard drive has gone bad. Because as you remember earlier, as I showed you, my hard drive wasn't on my um, boot list, which could be a bad hard drive or it could be a Windows problem. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test it. And I'm going to do the, for me, the hard drive solid state drive test. Quick check. I'm not going to do the extensive one because it takes a very long time. Um, no hard drive installed. Okay, so one of two things. For me, it says no hard drive installed. So what I would need to do is open my computer up and do what we call reseeding the drive, which means unplugging it and plugging it back in. If I rerun the diagnostic and then it shows up, then that probably means that the, it was just a loose connection or if it boots to Windows. Now, if I reseed it and it still gives me the whole, no hard drive installed, that means it's a bad hard drive. 
or if it fails a diagnostic and it says that you know there's a hard drive problem then you need to replace the hard drive we have a video down below on how to replace the hard drive and reinstall windows 11. now next step if your hard if your hard drive or solid state drive sorry i use them almost interchangeably um if it passes the diagnostic then um, you would want to reinstall Windows 11 because it's most likely an issue with Windows and not a hardware problem. And that should resolve your issue. Uh, now, go, we have a video down below in the description on how to reinstall Windows 11. And so uh, you go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions about this process or any unique struggles with it, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and one of our technicians will get back to you. Once again, this is Liz signing out from one egghead to another egghead.